So I'm out on a day trip skiing. You know, I thought I'd talk about why I bring out a white gas stove with me in the winter. There's gonna be people that disagree with me, that's that's fine. But for me, um, you know, a white gas stove is, it goes together with winter. Um, and there's a few reasons for that. Like today I'm out, I'm using uh, the MSR Whisper Light, which is, it's a classic. It's stood the test of time. It's not uh, some kind of marketing ploy. It's just a good stove and it works. And it's worked in all kinds of bad environments. Are canister stoves in comparison good options in the summer? Sure, there's, there's no question that in the summer a canister stove there, there's, there's, there's no problem with that. In the winter, you know, I just, I don't have the patience to be taking care or babysitting canisters to make sure they're warm enough to work. Some people are also gonna say, no, 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 they always work, it's fine, and the stoves have regulators. I've tried the regulated stoves. When the canister gets really cold, it doesn't work as well. And when the canister, when you're using a canister upright, as the gas vaporizes, the canister cools even more. There's tricks. So there's a trick to use an upright canister that you can dig this little hole in the snow and kind of build a little shelter for it. It works too. The other part of the story is that really, especially if you're out for multiple days, you're gonna be boiling, not boiling, you're gonna be melting a lot of snow for water. It takes about 20 minutes to go from snow to two liters of boiling water. Now you don't always need to boil it, but sometimes you do, so it's just easier for me. I often just bring up two liters of water to boil. That way I have enough for, let's say, my meal, and the other is, you know, really hot. I put it in my water bottle uh, with a cozy, and it stays hot for a long time. The other one, I might fill up half liter bottle that's, that's not with boiling water just because I want to get something to drink quicker. So no, you don't need to boil, but realistically it takes about 20 minutes that's for two liters if you're out for a day you probably need about six liters of water a day so you're using that stove for an hour a day you're not really babying it you're kind of shoving things in it you're not just getting a nice little 500 ml uh you know cup of water to boil just for one little meal it helps to have the biggest pot possible so you can get lots of snow in there so you're not babysitting it as much as if it was a smaller pot so you can get as much snow as possible, preferably kind of big chunks of hard snow, that way you're not filling up all the time, you know, fluffy snow, like I've, I just boiled up some water with uh, powdery snow and it, it just takes a lot of snow. Realistically, you're gonna be working on that stove a lot. An upright canister is tall, it's more likely to fall. Whereas, you know, one of these stoves, that's, you know, it's got a low center of gravity and I can put this a pot on top of this and I can literally bash snow into the pot. And that's what I do. I don't know if other people do that, but I literally shove snow in there and I compact it while I'm using it. You just couldn't do that with an upright canister, like a little canister stove that's screwed onto the top of a propane tank. You're just not gonna do that. You know, you need a lot of fuel if you're out for multiple days. I tend to budget eight ounces per day. I might only use six, but I tend to budget eight ounces. So, you know, half a pound of fuel per day. That means if I'm out for four days, I need two one pound canisters of propane, which starts to get kind of awkward. Now, is it the end of the world? No, but I find it a little bit easier to just deal with liquid fuel in a big bottle. So one big bottle from MSR, the, the, the full liter bottle, which is, I think you can get 900 mLs in it, which is about 30, 30 ounces um, or, or 28, which is enough for me for four days. The other part that I just get, I have so many propane canisters at home that are partly filled and they just don't have enough fuel in them to use for another trip. With the liquid gas, I can just top up bottles. I can, when I get home from a trip, I pour it back into my main can of, of fuel and it's just really simple and it's a lot cheaper. So. I'm not gonna say that it's sort of an environmental mission, but I might actually, I'm considering using uh, white gas all summer for trips that weight isn't a huge concern just because every trip I go out, I end up having a canister left that's partially filled. For me, winter means melting a lot of snow. It means you're being rough on your stove and it means you need something that works. 
um, and you're using a lot of fuel. So all of those things together to me just mean like, ah, a white gas stove, that's, it's tried and true. You know, people have been using those on expeditions for years. So there's definitely gonna be times when I use my canister stove. I have an MSR Wind Pro that I can flip a canister over for certain di trips where I, I just wanna have the lightest possible setup that works in the winter too. It's really reliable. But for most of them, you know, white gas, there's a kind of nostalgic side to it. People complain because you have to prime them. I find it all kind of part of the experience and like, it's just fun. The water game doesn't end. <laughs>